6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, they are without a doubt the best iPhones we've ever done. Uh, certainly we could see expansion or another big buyback program in the $100 billion range or, or maybe even higher. I think 200 is a, a bit too optimistic, though. Uh, we're skeptical that Apple would buy back stock to the point that they couldn't, um, you know, if they were able to bring that overseas cash back on shore and use it for buybacks and, and to retire the debt that it's taken on, we think they'll do that. So we don't think Apple will ever get in a net debt position um, they're going to keep a very healthy cash cushion on hand, uh, but they'll return a lot of cash to investors. Well, it's significant because Apple's beat was, was bigger than what they've done in any of the past 12 quarters. Uh, we haven't seen a, a beat like this since the iPhone early days when it was very hard to gauge the size of the market. A lot of this growth came from China. Ch sales in China doubled year over year, uh, and that really contributed to strong growth. And it's quite frankly, it's very hard to have visibility in the Chinese market. Um, it, it's such a large market that any inroads that Apple made um, really contribute to the top and bottom line. So this is really a big beat. It's tremendous iPhone growth uh, that we haven't seen in quite some time.